What's going on there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the Future Sonics Atrio M5 Professional Earphones. Let's get started. All right, so as you can see from the box, it's not the prettiest looking packaging you've ever seen, but it's very environmentally friendly and I give Future Sonics kudos for that. Uh, if you open this up here, I've already taken the headphones out, but you would find the headphones in this little crystal casing. You have this recycled cardboard deal here. You're gonna find yourself a little quick start guide with a cleaning and warranty information, and then there's another quick start um, card. And then you're also going to find uh, this carrying pouch. This is actually recycled tire. Uh, again, so they're using this uh, recycling deal and that's actually pretty cool to see. The case itself is very good looking, it's super sturdy and it was at one point on a truck. So it's cool that they're uh, kind of renewing sources that we can't get rid of. You're also going to find yourself a crap load of ear tips. Uh, if we open this up here, you're gonna find some silicone ones. They're all flanged, there are no straight in. So if you don't like flanged headphones or flanged earbuds rather, that will be an issue, but I love them. I to death. Uh, you're gonna get a little ear cleaning tool and then you're gonna get two sets of foam earbuds. Uh, in total you get uh, 12 sets of earbuds so you can really choose which one is right for you. You have uh, flesh colored ones here and black colored ones here. I really don't think the phone tips are that good and I wish rather than include uh, eight sets of eh, they would put in three good ones, you know, I don't know. Uh, just the foam didn't seem too good and they actually detracted from the quality of the audio. So I stuck with the smallest flans silicon uh, coverings here. So that's it for the unboxing and uh, let's get into the review, the build quality and the sound of the product. All right, so let's talk about the design of the M5s. I think these are probably some of the most hideous headphones I've ever laid eyes upon. As you can see, it comes down in this kind of J shape, uh, really reverse J, because this is the right ear. So it kind of comes down in an earring fashion. And when a man is wearing them, they look really kind of bizarre. Granted, I did get the blue version. So if you were to get a red or blue or one of the more prominent colors, it is going to stick out more. They do have black and a couple mellower colors, but I do not like the design really at all. The housing themselves are plastic, which feel pretty cheap. They're very light, but they feel kind of cheaply made. They're not, I mean, I've used them for about a month now and I haven't had any issues with them. I've hit them on the ground and I've done a bunch of other stuff and they've held up just marvelously, but they don't feel like the best enclosures. And then of course you have your ear tip here and the ear tip size or the diameter is much smaller than what you see on your typical in-ear headphone set. Now, as we move down the cable, we'll get to the yoke. Uh, the yoke is there and there's this slider, which is nice to see. The cable itself is decent, I mean, it does tangle it's not horrible but it's not great uh, there's this your standard L jack here this is again not the best jack not the worst uh, it's a little bit recessed or it has some problems with recession so in some iPhone cases you may experience some issues other than that though it's pretty good the cable gives you a little bit of cable noise which you guys know I hate is very irritating uh, it goes away once you start playing music but while you're paused or you have your volume down or whatever if you rub the cable on your shirt you will hear that which is rather annoying and then down here on this these are rubber so they fluctuate a little bit this top part is plastic and then right here it splits into rubber this worries me a little bit. It's been fine so far, but they seem kind of loose. And if these were to break, it would be here at the cable. And so um, that's, I mean, I don't feel like they're the best construction. Granted, I've read on forums that uh, Future Sounds has some of the best, or Future Sonics has some of the best customer support in the business. So if you do experience issues, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help you out. But uh, just as a precursor, they're not built that well. All right, so when you spend $200 on headphones, you really wanna know how they sound. And luckily, even though Future Sonics had a couple of issues in the first capital categories, the sound is really the redemption for these bad boys and justifies the $199 price tag. Now, these are super bass intensive. Now, don't click out if you don't like a lot of bass. That doesn't mean that they don't get better. The first 50 hours, they were so bass intensive, I was overwhelmed. I thought to myself, holy crap, I can't listen to these anymore. They're so bassy. I went on to Amazon and I looked at the specs and I noticed that they're dynamic drivers. There's actual coils inside of here that's moving to produce the sound, much like your home speakers. And so 
these require burning. I burned in for about another 60, 70 hours, and I noticed that the base really softened up. It was still prominent, it was still tight, but it wasn't overpowering. It wasn't on top of the track. And it really started to sound really well with the mids and the trebles. Now that's not to say it didn't, it went away. I mean, the base was still crazy there. It was very well detailed and very well controlled though. For hip, or for hip hop, dance, electronica, wrap anything in this category. I'm going to go so far to say the Atrio M5s are the best headphones you can get for a sub $200 price point. They're absolutely fantastic when you're considering a lot of bass. Now that's not to say the mids and the trebles were, you know, set aside because they were definitely focused on. The mids were clear and accurate. Uh, they were a little overshadowed at times and the singer wasn't quite as prominent as I would like to have had it in a couple instances, especially pop. It struggled uh, bringing out the mids, you know, the singer and uh, a couple of the main instruments because, you know, there would be a distorted low end and the bass would kind of get muddled up and mucked up in that. So some pop songs weren't that great, but genres that you would expect not to be very good, like classical and jazz, sounded really good in this. Now, the treble was a little bit dark, which a lot of people like. I'm, I'm not so much a fan of that. Um, if you don't know what darkness is, it's not piercy, it's not sharp, it's not clashing. For example, if there was a cymbal crash in a classical music or even a rock track, and it's a really prominent <laughs> these don't really emphasize that as much as they should. It, it's still there. I mean, yeah, it was a crash cymbal, but it wasn't that shattering kind of like holy crap sound that you get with a lot of uh, bright treble headphones, which I'm not a fan of, but I do like more than bass intensive headphones. However, these really, really shine. In terms of genres, everything sounds really, really good. The only one that I kind of struggled with was pop, and that was only when there was a distorted low end. Like Lady Gaga stuff was mostly good. When you get into some of the other pop that has that really, you know, low end, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, the slap bass or, you know, whatever, you kind of lost a little bit of clarity in that. But other than that, these are absolutely excellent sounding. I'm a huge fan of the M5s, and my final rating on these is an eight out of 10. As I stated, the build quality is pretty sucky. They look horrendously awful, but what it comes down to is the sound. And at $200, they couldn't sound better. I've tried hundreds of headphones. Um, well, well, actually, I probably have tried hundreds of headphones. I've tried dozens and dozens of in-ear headphones in the above and in the $150 to $200 price range. And these are unparalleled. I mean, these sound more fantastic than anything else I've tried. I couldn't be more happy. I was incredibly impressed after that initial burn-in where it was a little bit too bassy. But other than that, if you're looking for $200 headphones, you don't really mind about the look or the build. You just want good sound. Don't look anywhere else. The Future Sonics. H3O M5 is where they're at. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.